Hey, JM Smuckers Company, Draga 3 here. Just kidding, I'm not Draga 1. I'm not even Draga 2. Or 3. Or 4. Or even 5. So, this is my Windows 2000 machine. I use it for a lot of old computing. It served me well. It's a it's a nice computer machine for like late Windows 9X, um, Windows 2000, maybe some early XP. I don't think it runs XP very well. It has a Pentium 4 in it. Uh, it's a I think it's like a one gigahertz Pentium 4 or something. It has a uh, WinFast GeForce 2MX. Anyway, this thing was a great deal. It's hundred dollars. Came with a tape backup for its tape backup drive. A um, bunch of floppy disks and zip disks, which I've never experienced because I'm 15. And now I can't eject it because the computer's not on. But um, I just got a new 250 gig hard drive in the mail. IDE to put in this. This is its original hard drive. The Seagate Barracuda. 40 gigabytes. This is the exact same brand of hard drive I got in my like main computer that I'm recording this off of. I'm using a Seagate Barracuda 2 terabyte. It was like $50 um, at Staples. It was a great deal. Anyway, today I'm going to need to get this computer to dual boot Windows 98 SE and Windows 2000. Hopefully this won't be a pain in the ass. So, let's start with the Windows 98 install floppy. Um, this says MS-DOS 6.2 to supplement on it because that's what it was for before. I had like a burned set of MS-DOS floppies, but like but two out of three floppies are bad, so that's great. The fun of using floppies in 2020 is not very it's not it's not a very big amount. And I've already got my Windows 98 CD in here, so I should be ready to like F disk it and all that shit. Um sorry for the bad angle. Um this is the best I can do right now. Okay, there's my Ultra 100 card. Um, it's my um, it's my PCI IDE controller. Um, I use the um, Ultra 100 for a lot of things because one came with a computer. Two, it's much more reliable than the internal um, IDE controller. But I have put the C the DVD and CD drives on the internal IDE so that um, this DOS boot disk can read from it. Because even Windows 2000 needs, needs its own drivers for the Ultra 100. Um, let's start with CD support. I'm going to turn down this display so you can see it a little better. Um, that can do shit. Great. Okay, maybe I should mess with my camera settings. Um, okay, hopefully this is fine. It looks pretty okay to me. Um, don't mind the wobbling. That's not the monitor. That's just um, me putting my like leg on my desk, which I'm sitting this camera on. Okay. Oh, it did take a bolt. Uh, so I want F F disc. Yes. 
Um, look, what's that noise? It's making like a whining noise. I wonder what that's from. Maybe it's like some interference in the PC speaker. I I I've heard this before. It's not. Um, it's not abnormal, at least as far as I know. You get to tell me. And I did previously try to install DOS. I'm not I'm gonna bother. First time drive integrity. I didn't know this happened. Didn't happen last time. Oh. Oh my god. Is it going to test the entire 250 gigs in DOS? Can DOS even understand 250 gigs? Um... I don't know what the maximum available size is. Oh, <laughs> at RC Cola, please sponsor me. Does does RC have a Twitter search? RC Cola. Oh, they have a Twitter apparently. It's not even um verified. Ouch. Do your teeth hurt just thinking of sugary hashtag beverages? Wincing face, question mark. Why is beverages a hashtag? This is like ultimate like boomer hashtag shit. Don't worry, a new beverage trend has emerged replacing sugars with natural hashtag sweeteners. Oh yeah, hashtag sweeteners, baby. Mercy me, yo. So it's like diet or diet. I didn't know that existed. Is this even the same RC? They don't even have the same logo, but they seem to also be called Royal Crown Cola. Like I assume it's the same thing. This is Royal Crown Cola. I don't know. Because like I don't live in Georgia, so. Maybe all of this shit is more specific to Georgia. Because, like, I'm in the Washington state. Okay. Um. Okay. I will give it... Four gigabytes. Is that good? Five. Must restart your system. Okay. Okay, first I have to format the drive so that Windows 98 can install to it. Maybe it doesn't automatically? I don't know. So, format. What? What? What the fuck? Why is there no format command? There we go. I guess it's just one setup, I guess. Hopefully it formats the drive. Routine check. There we go. What does that mean? Windows setup requires 7340032 bytes. Of what? RAM? Does the floppy disk need to be bigger? Is it trying to install to this zip disk? It seems the system is frozen. I don't know, maybe it's not. It, it definitely is. Okay, control delete. 
Control Delete doesn't work either. Fuck the accident. Arcom CD. I thought the OEM copy of the Windows 98 CD was supposed to be bootable. Apparently it's not. Like, it didn't do any of this weird shit before. It, it just booted into the Windows setup without any issues. Well, not booted. It booted off the floppy disk. Now it works? Okay. Format. So if it's going to perform a repeat check, fine. Okay, that took a lot, the signal a lot longer this time. There we go. I don't know, maybe it was trying to install the zip disk, I don't fucking know. Oh right, I don't have this mouse connected to the computer, and it's USB. So I will have to use the keyboard, Microsoft Wallet. I have a regular wallet. Windows 98 came with Shockwave? And Flash? This computer's, like, main... I, I've always called it 4Basic on the network, so I'm going to call it 4... 4Basic... 98. Oh yeah, that does remind me, though. Um, maybe I should have tried that trick that that one guy talked about on YouTube. Where, like, you copy the CD to, like, a directory in, like, the Windows directory. So it doesn't need to ask for the CD when you, like, install shit. RC Cola is, like, like, regular, regular soda. Like, you put it in ice, and then it tastes like shit. Like, this tastes like... Like, this without ice is kind of sin, I think. RC with ice tastes like regular like soda without ice, but it's cold. And like, it doesn't water down the drink. Like this like RC RC is pretty strong. Man. But it tastes great in ice. But because I'm not drinking it with ice, the back of my throat um feels like slime. Good thing I got my anchor power cord. Buy this. It's, it's good. It's forty dollars. Super convenient. I don't think I'll ever use any other battery. Like it seems gimmicky to have a to have like a um, power bank that like plugs directly into the wall. But it really isn't. It's super convenient. But you just plug it. Why am I? Why am I giving these? Why am I giving everyone free press? Anchor for for me selling your product, you must give me one cent. Restart with Pete. Okay. Start. Uh. -uh. It it. It booted from the... Huh? Oh. Oh, maybe, like, for some reason... Um, this is like... Okay, get out of there. Maybe, like, the Windows 98 OEM CD has, like, a special, like, boot process that, for some reason, my Ultra 100 doesn't support. User information. I am case stop from PLA key. And I need to get the product key from Winwar. Or none of you tell on me to Microsoft for pirating Windows 98. I don't know if Windows 98 has um like built-in USB drivers for this. Well I probably shouldn't plug in the mouse because like that caused problems with Windows 2000. Like I, this is really weird, but like when I install Windows 2000 with the with the like 
USB mouse dongle plugged in, it like fucks up the USB driver install. And I can't get it working after that. I just have to reinstall Windows 2000. I didn't mention that this computer had built in like USB 1, did I? This computer originally came from Fry's. I mean, obviously, I bought it second hand. What, you think I built a Windows 98 2000 XP Pentium 4 computer? I'm 15. I don't know how to do that. Build a Ryzen 5 computer, which I'm using to record this. Flex, 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 flex. Um. Uh, August 20. The year 20. It, it, it's just 20. 20. It, it, it just says fucking 20. Is Windows 98 not fucking Y2K compliant? Yeah, when I can't even type 2000, what is this? Boys, before we eat, don't forget to thank the Lord for this bountiful- <laughs>